The cardiac conduction system controls the timing of each heartbeat and directly corresponds to what we see on an ECG. Step 1. SA node activation. P wave. The heartbeat begins in the sinoatrial SA node located in the right atrium. It acts as the heart's natural pacemaker, generating an electrical impulse. This impulse spreads across both atria, causing them to contract. On an ECG, this is seen as the P wave, which represents atrial depolarization. Step two, a V node delay, PR segment. The electrical signal then reaches the atrioventricular AV node. Here it pauses briefly. This delay gives the ventricles time to fill with blood before they contract. On the ECG, this pause is shown as the PR segment. Step three, ventricular activation, QRS complex. After the delay, the impulse travels through the bundle of his, down the right and left bundle branches, and into the Purkinje fibers. This spreads the signal quickly through the ventricles, causing them to contract. This rapid depolarization of the ventricles appears on the ECG as the QRS complex. Step four, ventricular recovery, T wave. Once the ventricles have contracted, they need to reset or repolarize in preparation for the next beat. This recovery phase is seen on the ECG as the T wave. In summary, P wave equals atrial depolarization. PR segment equals AV node. Delay QRS complex equals ventricular depolarization. T wave equals ventricular repolarization. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video in our cardiac physiology series.